What's up, family? It's me, your boy, Damian Horn, a.k.a. Mr. D, the motivational musician, the educational entertainer. Welcome to DTV, where I share with you what's been given to me. Uh, another week is in the books. It's Friday. Man, um, it was a good week. I have to say that. Um, what else? You know, I guess today my quick share is really about uh, not ignoring the symptoms. And what I mean by that is over the past month or so, I've had like this annoying little cough that, you know, I've been dealing with and it's been like on and off. But, you know, I just kind of powered through it because, you know, I wasn't really feeling horrible. At least I didn't think I was. And I just powered through it. That's just kind of how I am. I, I don't tend to take a lot of medicines and I just try to like, you know, do some natural things and just try to keep moving in order to kind of let my body just do what it does in fighting off whatever is happening. And uh, that's what I did. But in that process, I was like ignoring these symptoms and uh, it just kept going on and on. And it's been over a month now. And and my wife uh, recently just said to me, she's like, hey, babe, you need to probably go get that checked out. And uh, I was hesitant, but nonetheless, you know, you got to you got to got to put your pride to the side sometimes and, and do what needs to be done. So I went in to get checked and find out like, man, I probably had an infection over a month ago, but it ended up causing me to have strep and bronchitis. So you know, I got some medicine, taking care of that now, but, uh, you know, I want to talk about ignoring the symptoms because we can ignore the symptoms, not only with our health, but, you know, in life when it comes to relationships or career, whatever it may be. And we might be operating maybe at 60, 65% and thinking, oh, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. Not realizing that we could be doing so much more and so much better if we just took care of what was, what was really at the root of uh, what was going on. And like, for me, I didn't even realize probably I wasn't working at my maximum capacity because, you know, I had got gotten used to living, you know, with this little cough and it wasn't that big of a deal to me. But, uh, you know, when we ignore the symptoms in life, uh, we, we tend to make the problems worse in the end. You know, it's those symptoms are trying to give us signs to tell us about something else. That's probably a bigger problem, uh, at bay. And, um, so it was a, just a reminder of me, like when symptoms of life show their faces to me, like to not ignore them, not to push them to the side, not pretend like nothing is going on, but like to address those head on, confront them, confront them like in the moment, you know, and not just let it build up over time because it can make the problem a whole lot worse. You know what I'm saying? I think that's kind of what happened with me. Now I have to take, you know, this medicine to kind of get better and fight through this thing. But, you know, it was a good lesson for me. And I, and I, like I said, I feel like that can apply to a lot of areas of life. And so, uh, my, my, I guess my challenge to you is not to ignore the symptoms when the symptoms are showing their face, um, and pay attention and, uh, listen to what it's telling you and do what needs to be done to fix the situation. Um, that's what I got for my quick share today. And since it's Friday, you know, I like to do like a little Friday financial tip. You know, I'm not a financial advisor by any means, but you know, I, like I said, I'm just sharing with you what's been given to me and what's worked for me. You know, I, I'm, I'm a mad scientist in the fact of like everything that I, I try to share with people, I've experienced in some kind of way. I don't just try to grasp from these things out of the air. You know, it's either something that happened in my life or something I, you know, have talked with others about or help walk others through. So, uh, when I talk about this particular financial tip, what has worked for me in securing, you know, wealth and building my own wealth and legacy that I want to leave for my family and, and my people, uh, living below my means has been a, a, a really um, important step in that. You know, a lot of times we we want the the nicest, newest things, and we don't need them. You know, it's really a waste of money. Uh, my friends make fun of me because I, I just got the as I, as I tell you this, I just got the, uh, the newest iPhone and like literally the only thing that's different is that there's a different charging system. It feels like. And so now I have to go buy a whole bunch of different new chargers. So they got me double time. So, and nothing's different, you know, it's just to say you got the newest thing, but a lot of times that can set you up and you get in the habit of doing those kind of things. And then you're losing money and you're not able to put that money in places where uh, you can build or save, you know, and uh, or put that money to work for yourself. So that's just kind of like my little uh, financial tip for Friday. You know, like I said, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just sharing with you what's been given to me, what's worked for me. And, you know, me living below my means, I, you know, I could have a nicer car. I could live in a, a nicer place, but like me personally, I like to have money to do things. I, 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 if, if I do spend money on things, it's usually about 
uh, making memories. I like to travel. I like to do things like that and, and to take care of my friends and my family, my people when, when needed. That, that's a little more important to me. So that's where I do like to use my money. But even in that, you know, I try to be very, um, you know, just be very aware of what I'm doing with my money. And so uh, my tip in this is like, man, don't, you know, give yourself a beat maybe in the in in the moment where you feel like you got to get that new ride or get that those new pair of shoes or that that purse or whatever the case may be. You know, like give yourself a beat. You know, if you think like, man, I got to have this, I would say stop, give yourself a day and then come back and see if that that urge is still as strong. And a lot of times it's not. A lot of that is just, you know, uh, impulsive buying. You know, I'm, I've been a victim of that plenty of times. So, yeah, that's what I got for my quick share today, man. Thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure you like the channel, subscribe, you know, and uh, we're just going to keep this thing rolling. I'm enjoying the new year so far, you know, doing this YouTube thing, and I uh, want to keep it rolling. Comment below. Let me know uh, if you guys got any kind of, like, financial tips that you, you do or uh, things that help you kind of, like, uh, allocate your money in the right places. Also, let me know below if... If uh, you've been a victim like myself of ignoring the the symptoms of life, you know, whether that be with your health or career or relationships, you know, let me know in, in the comments below and uh, I'd like to hear from you. So uh, have a blessed day. I hope this blesses somebody. Peace.